Murdered KCK police captain's family is taking their frustration with his murderer's case to a step above speaking out. The captain's brother has now filed a complaint with a regulatory branch of the court in Topeka. KCTV5's Betsy Webster is live. And Betsy, you caught up with the DA tonight to get his response. Well, I did. He was here at this Kansas City church behind me as part of a panel discussion on how the courts work. We approached him here, hoping he would take a moment to respond. My chief Wyandotte County DA Mark Dupree was joined by the Johnson County DA and the Jackson County prosecutor for a forum hosted by Allies for Racial Justice. One question, handling shootings by police. When you're dealing with a police officer, anything, it is tough. It is hard. He was speaking generally, but he's currently under fire for a particular case where the victim was a cop. The 2016 line of duty death of Captain Dave Melton. Dupree first took heat when he took the death penalty off the table, then when he added a lower tier version of first degree murder, ostensibly as a safety net if a jury couldn't find proof of premeditation. Last week, the killer used that to plead guilty to the lesser charge, which brings a life sentence with the chance of parole in 25 years. Captain Melton's family was blindsided, furious, and angrily confronted the DA. And Zeta, she is crying and saying, what the hell just happened here? And he's, that's when he starts it, I won't put up with that, and starts yelling. That prompted Captain Melton's brother to file a complaint with the state. You've received a lot of criticism on the Jamal Lewis case. Tonight, we asked DA Dupree to respond. Instead, he walked away. Any response at all to the complaint? While walking away, he said court rules and a judge's gag order prevented him from discussing the case or his conduct involving it until after the case concludes. The killer has yet to be sentenced. D.A. Dupree says that he will comment once the appropriate time comes. Melton, meanwhile, says that state office told him it would take at least two weeks to complete their investigation. Reporting live, Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News.